So today we're going to be having a look at a product from Edifier. Now I actually, I think the last time I unboxed an Edifier product was about a year ago when, uh, when I did my Christmas present for Esther who uh, also works at NCIX. You can check her out on Facebook. And uh, this one is also because one of my fellow employees here at NCIX is interested in buying one and wants to see it. So I figured, well, if we're going to open it up, I might as well do a YouTube about it. This is the MP250 Portable Speaker USB Soundbar. So here is that same information in a variety of other languages. All right, so we'll flip it over to the back. And I'm, I'm going in cold on this one as per my uh, usual arrangement. So we're going to discover it together. It has integrated volume control. There's your USB input input as well as an auxiliary input. We have in terms of features it is powered by USB. Okay, so powered by USB. I guess that it does not actually take an audio signal from USB. So that's what that, uh, that input jack there is for. It's a two-channel stereo speaker with two 1.25 inch drivers. Okay, on each channel. Interesting. Okay, elaborately designed base reflex port, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. Speaker must be connected to USB port for power. It includes a soft carry pouch and USB cable. All right, that is in four languages. And then we've got the specifications, which I'll just let the cameraman have a look at really quickly here. Just make sure it focuses so they can read it and pause it if they feel like it. And if they don't, then who cares? Okay, there we are. Let's open it up and have a look at what we got. So it's covered by a two year warranty from Edifier. Oh, and it has a sticker on it that we're going to have to uh, break the seal on there. So now it's open. Let's find out what's inside. There's the sound bar itself. We've got some documentation here. Let's just close that knife, put that away. And uh, oh, oh, cameraman wants another shot at that specification. I bet if you don't get so close and just zoom in a bit, it'll actually focus a little better. It's not a great camera for focusing up close. Whatever, it's HD, I'm sure they can read it. Let me see. Oh yeah, it won't focus at all, will it? Okay, well, we give up. All right, so what do we got here? We have some, like I said, some documentation. We have uh, instructions for Mac users. Look at that, Mac. So do this if you're a Mac user, all right? Soundbar USB, multimedia speaker. So this is your general uh, specifications. Hey, look at that, they even have a page dedicated to unboxing, outstanding. That's what we're doing today. And then uh, insulation as well as, oh, illustration setting up, okay, cool. And then we have the soundbar itself. So let's take this out. It comes packed in its little velvety carrying case thing, which you can clean some of the cardboard residue off, and then it looks quite nice. And then let's do the accessories first. In terms of accessories, we have one USB, oh, I'm not even gonna, actually, yeah, okay, we'll take this out. I can get at that. Okay, we have one USB cable and one auxiliary cable, just like that. Quite simple, quite simple indeed. Let's take it out and have a look at the soundbar itself. So as I've come to expect from Edifier, it's built way better than the price would indicate. So you can see the two speakers for each channel, as well as what appears to be the, uh, like, well, the subwoofer, that would be the bass driver right there in the middle. So there's actually a total of five speakers, which is pretty impressive. And it's got a fair bit of weight to it. The, uh, the housing seems to be made out of an aluminum. So you can tell by how cold it is and also the fact that it is very obviously made of metal. Here's the volume control, which is, oh yeah, look at that. So you press it in and then you can turn, oh, okay, you don't have to press it in, you can just turn it. Okay, so there's your volume control on the one side. And then on the other side, there's the input as well as the power. All right, and then it has little rubber feet on the bottom, so it's not gonna slip around. So if you're carrying it around and you wanna set it up with your laptop or set it up on your desktop at work or whatever, it's not gonna slide around. See, you can put a fair bit of pressure on that. It's not gonna move. And uh, there's what it'll look like set up on your desk. So all you gotta do is plug this guy in and then this guy in for power. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Edifier MP250 2.1 soundbar. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips and then you will see more videos about things like this and other stuff. 
Well, we figured out why it wouldn't focus. Cameraman accidentally pressed the manual focus button. So there are the specifications for you, your viewing and reading pleasure.